in the field today. We're planting some broccoli, cabbage, kohlrabi. What else do we have here? Cauliflower. Cauliflower? We're gonna be planting in this field right here. My brother was working it up and he spread some fertilizer in there. It's gonna rain. I spread the fertilizer. He spread the fertilizer. It's gonna rain tomorrow, so we wanna get this stuff planted so it can start growing. It is windy. I hope you guys can hear me without all the noise, but this is the type of transplanter we're going to be using. It's a mechanical transplanter. When we put it down, these two wheels will turn, which move these wheels, and then we'll take the plant and put it in here, and these, pla and these rubber clamps close and plant it in the soil for us. Are you excited, girls? Totally, yep. <laughs> How about you, Daniel? I'm so excited. I'm cold. He is so excited. <laughs> it's really windy out. But we'll see how this goes. So what we're doing, as we'll go, we pull the plants out. And then we place them in these little rubber fingers. And then they close. And they hold the plant. And if you can see down there, I don't know if you can. It takes it. And then it leaves a little ditch in the soil, and then it plants them. So this is our job. Oh, this is good speed! Good. What? Good speed! We have to communicate with my dad while we're on the back here, because if we don't, he will go way too fast, and then we'll be missing spots. And then when we're picking cabbage, he tells you every single time, you know, there could have been a cabbage here, but you guys messed up.
some kohlrabi and some cauliflower planted now we're gonna load back up with some more plants Broccoli, it's going pretty smooth. Hopefully it rains tomorrow, or that'll be a problem. <laughs> My train just broke. up with planting some broccoli I don't know what variety we're planting we plant a couple different varieties because the days they match up when they're ready to harvest so we don't want them all ready to harvest at the same time but we're finishing up with the broccoli and then I think we're going on to a cabbage variety called Trans Am and we usually just plant everything right next to each other I missed one and we do that so that when it comes time to cultivate it it's easy we don't have to keep switching out what we're doing we plant it all the same di distance apart, and the rows are all the same distance, so when we go to cultivate, we don't have to worry about anything. Turn the camera around, Joel. Look at this guy. This guy was recording that drone footage, and he's recording for us planting. What a gem. So I just want to tell you guys basically how this machine works. I mentioned it before we started, but if you look back here, you can see that wheel spinning. Oh. What that wheel does is it turns I mean, this good. wheel, and as we put the plants in here, these little rubber fingers, they grab it, and then they take it, and they put a the little ditch in the ground. And what that ditch does is it opens up the soil, it drops the plant in, and then it covers it back up. Back up. Hopefully it plants it straight up and down. So you can kind of see what it does. It opens up that ditch, and then it drops the plant down in, and then covers it right back up. But you can see that leaves a pretty, pretty big ditch. So what's up? We're starting to load up some Bronco cabbage. out of plants dad went back with the quad and the wagon I think he was getting some red cabbage and I think Savoy cabbage I'm not sure but he's on his way back right now 
got all our extra cabbage on here, so we're almost done planting. The planter just finished planting out right here. We're all finished. We got our whole field over here planted. It looks good.